Good morning, my Shibboleth friends. I'm Julie Mirandino, and I am here to explain to you guys our next challenge, the Spartan Elite Challenge. This is a great challenge that I have done in the past with Jason Whitener, and it is an amazing challenge, and it helped me so much. I totally miss Jason, but I'm so glad that we can pull these challenges out from the coffers and um, offer them once again. So I took the information that I had when I did the challenge and I had to change it a little bit because some of the products that um, Jason recommended we use back about a year or two ago are, are no longer made. So I had to change it just a little bit. That was the only thing that I changed. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go over the rules and the format and we will get busy sharing our upcoming challenge. Okay, let me open up the um, the rules. Okay, so here we go. So Spartan Elite Challenge. Um, it is a rigorous plan that will yield wonderful results. The first thing participants are gonna be doing is you're gonna go to take your body fat assessment. This body fat assessment is super important because we're gonna use a lot of these numbers to figure out um, how much water we drink, how much extra protein we get every day, and we're going to need to do this body fat assessment. So you're going to go to myshabullet.com. So I already have it pulled up. Um, it's You'll go to the homepage right here, and you're going to scroll down below all of the wonderful video choices that you might want to go watch, and you're going to click on this little button right here. It says body assessments. So as soon as we click on that, I'm going to put my stuff in and we'll use my numbers while we're trying to figure out everything. So um, I did my, these are the last time I did my measurements. So I did them again and I'm sorry that I couldn't have them already plugged in here because I wanted to show you where to go, but it won't take me very long. Um, I just used my handy dandy little whoop, measuring thing and did my measurements based on what it was asking me to do. Um, and then we will get the numbers that we need. So you can do this as well. Um, once you do this, it's going to give you the numbers. So you're either going to want to take a screenshot of this or get your camera on your phone. I'm just going to take a picture. So I'll have all the numbers. So when we are doing the um the math don't worry it's not hard math when we're doing the math to figure out all the things we need we'll have all the numbers so being being said that we've done that part um the next thing we're going to do is take a front facing and side facing photo because as you guys know we burn a lot of stored fat here in shibboleth and those pictures can be very helpful in seeing the results that you get from these challenges. And when you join the challenge, you're going to enter in your front facing and side facing photo. Now, if you're uncomfortable doing that, don't worry, just put in two photos that you have in your camera roll. It doesn't matter. Um, the next thing you're going to do is pick your eating window. Now, your win your eating window will be based on start times below that are closest to the time determined that you're going to pick. So you're going to pick your eating window based on these three things right here. So if you're not exercising soon after waking, take the normal time that you wake up and add three hours. So I normally get up at 7 a.m. So I would add the three hours and I would start my eating window at 10. However, that would just be the earliest eating window that I could choose. So I can choose the 10 to 4, 12 to 4, 12 to 6, or 12 to 8. If you are exercising soon after waking, take the time you normally finish your exercise and add an hour to that. So if you wake up at 7, you exercise at 8, and you finish at 9, you'd add um, an hour and that your um and then you'd add an hour. And so your window starting window would be 10. So again, you can select any of the following eating windows, 10 to 4, 12 to 4, 12 to 6, or 12 to 8. So if you're exercising during the day or in the evening, 
Um, that does not determine your eating window and it is not a factor to be considered to determine your window for each day. So if you're um, exercising during the day, like you exercise at two or three o'clock or, or when you get home after work, then you can pick any of those eating windows. The next thing we're going to do is after we've done our body assessment and we've taken our pictures, we pick our eating window. So I'm going to pick... Um, 12 to 6 that works best for me um, so 12 to 6 p.m is my eating window um, we are allowed two meals on spartan elite um, and only two meals during the day with a maximum calorie count based on your bmr which guess what that number we got in our body assessment and i'm going to show you how to do it and i have like right here a little um a little way to figure it out. So we're just going to continue talking about the meals that we get, and then I'll figure out how many calories I can have per meal. So um, we are going to base our two meals that we eat within our win eating window based on our calorie count with using our BMR. Of course, we want them to be properly combined, portioned, and spread out in an optimal way throughout the day. The remainder of your food intake, so you do get more than two meals, but the remainder of your food intake during your in eating window will come from protein supplements that are listed below and based on your lean body weight, which again, I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So don't worry about the math. I'm going to go over it with you. I'm going to do my own and show you uh, exactly what it is that we're going to be doing, but the two meals that you do get to use um, by combining with these combine um, combinations only. So a one and a two, one and a two plus MCT, four plus two, seven plus two, seven plus two plus MCT, one plus hemp part flake, one plus hemp part flake plus MCT, seven plus hemp part flake or seven plus hemp heart flake plus MCT. Now there is one thing when you're figuring out your calories for your meal, and it's going to tell you right here when we calculate it, you don't have to count the MCT oil in your calories, just the food that you used. So for instance, if you use chicken breast and, and lettuce and you cook the chicken breast and the MCT, don't count the MCT, just figure out how many calories are in that chicken breast and how many calories are in your salad and how many calories are in your condiment or your salad dressing or whatever it is that you're using in that combination. And that's where you figure out and base those two meals on with your calorie counts. So this is the only time we really count calories in Shibboleth is the only time I have is with this challenge um, because we are trying to use um, two of your meals very calorie restrictive because the rest of your protein or the rest of your food for your day is going to come from these extra protein supplements, which you'll see it's, it's like your third eating episode, but you also can use those protein supplements along with your meals, but your meal part has to be that calorie count. Okay. You also can use coach mode meals. Now I did download, I do have the coach mode meals over here. Um, these, there's 75 of them. Okay. I'm not going to go over all of them and you still want to make sure that you are using that calorie count, but there's recipes, there's, uh, you know, quest bar with health wise or Coco Ringa hot chocolate. There's, um, you know, two handfuls of pistachios, the AHS pancakes, any wow challenge, um, you can use as a coach mode meal. Um, which means you can do a wow challenge one day. You just aren't going to do all the other things that um, are in this challenge. So you can't do the wow challenge and eat all the extra protein. You would just have to follow the wow challenge, but you're going to have better results if you don't do a wow challenge and you do this way, this Spartan elite challenge. Okay. So there's other recipes like basil lime chicken, um, berries, yogurts, and hemp flakes, boiled eggs. Um, there's other, like the Chick-fil-A grilled chicken filet. Um, that's your meal, just the filet. I mean, it tells you right here, like what to do restaurant options. So that's good. You can have some restaurant options, 
lots of different options on this coach mode meal plan that you can eat and have mighty muffins, um, quest bars, real good, um, shibboleth protein bars, special K sausage, quinoa, pepper, mozzarella, and Asiago crustless quiche. That sounds amazing. So anyways, um, that is one of the options that you can use for your meals along with the combinations. So let me share the, um, let me share this. Okay. All right. Rules again. All right. So we're going to have two meals a day and each one of those meals is either going to be a coach mode meal or one of the combinations listed here. And you're going to have to count those calories. I use an app called lose it. I think Fitbit has a, a calorie counting thing. And really, once you do one or two of your meals, it's not going to be that hard uh, to count those calories. But we're going to figure out now how many calories we get per meal. Now, this is mine. So you're going to do your own based on your body fat assessment that we did um, at the beginning of the video. So we're going to calculate my maximum number of calories per meal for me doing the challenge. And you're gonna do it using your BMR here. You're gonna enter in your BMR and divide that by six. So because I took a handy dandy picture of my fat assessment, my BMR was 1,396.27. So I'm just gonna switch to my calculator and take 1,396 and divide that by six. So my maximum number of calories when I have my two meals is 232. Okay, so I'm going to have 232 calories of either a coach mode meal or a, a combined meal from these combinations. All right, and you don't count your MCT oil. So, so far, We've had a body assessment. I've taken front and side pictures. I have picked my eating window from 12 to six. And I know that my two meals are going to consist of a combination or a coach mode meal. And I'm not to exceed 232 calories in that meal. Now our beverages, we should drink blank ounces of water. Guess what that's based on your lean body weight. So back to my little picture. And we're going to see what my lean body weight was. And then I'll know how many ounces of water I need to drink every day. So my lean body weight is 99.94. So I'm going to have 100, let's round it up, 100 ounces of water every day. Okay. So there we go. We got my calories. I got how much water I'm going to drink every day. I've got my eating window. We're getting this challenge going and it is not that hard. So the math is just super easy once you do the, uh, the body weight assessment. Okay. So unsweetened coffee and tea are allowed. Zero calorie energy drinks or zero calorie sodas are allowed, but you should increase your water intake by the ounces of energy drink or soda that you consume. So if I'm going to have 100 ounces of water and I drink an energy drink or a, um, a, a diet soda and it's a 12 ounce can, then I've got to eat drink another 12 ounces of water, which would then mean that day I eat, drink, eat, drink 112. Okay, up to two Advocare Spark each day are allowed while participating, but does not count towards your water. Okay, so be careful with that. Now, the remainder of food intake during our eating window, this is when it gets a lot of fun. Okay, this was my favorite part of this challenge was figuring out my lean body weight or figuring out how much extra protein I could have during the day with my lean body weight, which we all know, I just said it was 99.94. So my lean body weight is 99.94. If I was, um, you, I'm going to use that number and use this little figuring out spot and figure out how many extra 
grams of protein I need to get in throughout my eating window. So I can make this a third eating episode. I can eat it within my window, maybe with my meal as a snack between my meals. Um, but what you're going to do is you're just going to make sure that whatever it is you do, you get in that extra protein during the day. And this is another thing that I changed when uh, from Jason's is there's a ton more options, even just within the Shibboleth store and out there that weren't there a couple years ago. So I added a bunch of stuff um, to give us more options for our additional protein. But if you are a man, you want to have one gram of protein supplement for each pound of lean body weight if you are weight training. So if I was weight training every day and I was a man, I would take that 99.94 and have 99.94 extra grams of protein every day. Okay. But if you are not weight training, then you want to have half of your lean body weight. So whatever your lean body weight is, when you do your body assessment, if you weight train, you're going to do that, that amount. And if you don't weight train, you're going to do half that amount. All ladies, regardless if you, if you work out or not, we need half a gram of protein supplement for each pound of lean body weight during the challenge, whether we weight train or not. So mine would be, and I'm just going to round it up because it was 99.94. That's a hundred. So I'm going to get every day of the challenge, 50 grams of additional protein. Now we've got a list right here. Don't you worry. There are a lot of wonderful things on here. I'm going to go over them super quick. I've linked this so you can click it and it'll take you right to the Shibboleth website and you can look at it look how to eat it. It's in the store. You can add it to the store. Um, so what I would do if I need 15 additional um, grams of protein every day, I'm going to use one of these things on the list or maybe two or maybe three things on the list that add up to 50. So in this example down here, Let's say a woman's lean body mass is 90 pounds. Then you get 45 grams of extra protein throughout the day. This could be three packages of HealthWise hot chocolate. So you could have a HealthWise hot chocolate when you get up. You can have your, or I mean, at your eating window, not when you get up, sorry. At the beginning of your eating window, then you could have your first eating episode, then your second eating episode with the calorie restriction. And you could have a HealthWise hot chocolate with your meal. And then you could have a health-wise hot chocolate at the end of your eating episode. But you don't have to have three of the same things. You can have 12 egg whites. So you could have an egg, 12 egg whites um, for your first eating episode, well, for your extra protein. And then you can have those two meals or eating episodes. Um, and that is at 3.6 grams each. That's 12 egg whites to get up to that 45 grams. Now, again, you don't have to have the same thing because the next example is you could have a package of HealthWise hot chocolate and one package of HealthWise soup and one plain Greek yogurt or Oikos triple zero yogurt. Each one of those is 15 and adds to 45, which is exactly how many extra grams of protein this woman would need. And we're not trying to hit approximate values. And I mean, we're just trying to hit approximate ones, not exact. So, you know, if your protein is 47 and you're like, well, how am I going to get two extra grams in? Don't worry about it. Just have the three that are 15 or find three things on here that might equal that. It doesn't have to exactly equal that. But for example, I've given you the link the extra protein and how many grams of protein they are. So you can figure it out really quickly. Like, look, we have the high protein cereal. So if you wanted to have that at the beginning of your eating window with a cup of Fairlife fat-free milk, which is 13 grams and the cereal is 14 grams, well, you've got 27 grams of additional protein and you've just had your you've just gotten into your eating window and you've had milk and cereal and then you can have your first meal and your then your second meal of course based on your calories 
And then if this were me, I would have an additional 23 grams of protein to eat throughout my eating window. So let's say I wanted to have a, a Quest cookie um, for you know dessert after my second meal. That's 15 grams. So now I have eight grams left. Now eight, I don't know what I would do. Maybe if I was really hungry, maybe I would just have a couple of boiled egg whites. They are, um, I think it was 3.6 per. So maybe have like two um, boiled egg whites. And y'all know I like to make my, um, my um, deviled, my deviled eggs with using the egg whites. And I just put this paprika and the mustard on the egg whites and it tastes, some people put pickles because those are all freebies and it tastes just like a deviled egg. But I would probably make that like as a snack in between. So there's so many options here for you to choose to add up to your extra protein for the day. So you can also have, look, Quest chips. So if you wanted to have your meal of Mine is 232 calories. So if I wanted to make a sandwich and make it 232 calories, I could have those Quest chips with that and have my 19 grams of additional protein and use that as one of my options. Now, every day you can pick something different. It doesn't have to be the same thing every day. You can pick the same protein like we were talking about earlier by having the three HealthWise hot chocolates if that equals up to, or four, if you get 60 grams, I guess you, there is a little bit of math here, but not that bad. But in addition to um, what you can have, so this will kind of be like our extra, you can have uh, one Choco Right treat, one package of AHS chicken bouillon. This is really good for you if you are trying to embrace the growl. If you have a short eating um window and you're like, I'm starving and I have to have something right before my eating window stops. It's full of protein and it was really, really good for you. I use this a lot when I do a 24 or 36 hour fast. I can have this chicken bouillon and it just totally helps me get through my fast. So you also can have one bag of approved high protein chips. So you've got the double bites, the tasty bites, the crinkles, or any of the health-wise um, protein chips that are on the Shibboleth website. So not the Quest though, only these, if it's made by health-wise, if it's a double bite, if it's a tasty bite, or if it's a crinkle. Those are the only ones that you can have in addition to everything else that you're having. Uh, but you don't have to have these. This is just... Um, if you need it, these are kind of like I'm saying, like the extra or the freebies. You also can have up to three tablespoons of hemp flakes a day. So if you wanted to choose the Oikos triple zero yogurt, that's only one. Um, you could have two, that's 30 grams of protein. And if you love to have hemp flakes on top, put some hemp flakes on top. You don't have to count the protein that the hemp flakes are. You just get through up to three a day in addition to if you wanted to throw them in the egg whites. A lot of people love to put the hemp flakes in their egg whites. It's a great extra protein, but you don't have to count it for your protein, but it's something that you can add in there. So there's no snacks, no freebies. We want you to exercise if you can. I totally understand that not everyone can um, get in this type of exercise. So whatever it is that you can do or not do, it doesn't matter. It's not required, but we do rec recommend some sort of 30 to 45 minutes of cardio or walking or any other appropriate exercise. If you do yoga or Pilates or weightlifting, CrossFit, running, power walking, cycling, and so on. Um, it's again, it's not, rec it's not um, required. It's just a recommendation. It's just going to help your body metabolize better and faster. Even if you just want to get up and walk to the mailbox and back, if that's all you can do, that's all you can do. Just go a little further, make a couple of steps around the mailbox or something. I don't know. Just be careful in the street. Um, the other, the only other thing is supplementation. We recommend a multivitamin. Um, anytime that you're doing a calorie restrictive diet, although we get in a lot of the mac macronutrients when we do food combining, um, it's just always good to take a good multivitamin. 
And again, please consult your physician to determine what is right for you. This information is for entertainment purposes only and is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prescribe regarding any illness or disease that you may have. This information is not intended for non shibboleth members. So this isn't a non shibboleth um, challenge because of the combining and being able to do, although anyone can do the body assessment, but um, it's just a shibboleth thing. So I am going to close this down. I had a couple other things open to show you. Um, this is um, the, when, when you go on the link that takes you, like if you're interested in the high protein hot chocolate for your additional uh, protein, you're going to click that little link in the um, right here. All these underlined things are linked to things in the Shibboleth store or a, a website or whatever. So you'll see that this is the high protein hot chocolate. This is this is where I went to find out how, many, how much protein it had. It's right there. You've got all these different flavors available right now. Mocha, regular, amaretto, that's my favorite. Cinnamon, I also like that. Marshmallow and mint. I like mint too. I can't lie. It's so good. But if you have regular, did you know you can just add some cinnamon in it or some mint from the garden? Or if you have mint uh, essential oil, just pop that right in there. So you don't have to miss out, but if you want to order it, order it. It's great. I love the amaretto. It really tastes like you're having an amaretto cappuccino, which is amazing. So what you're going to do is when you want to come and decide that you want to um, join the challenge, you're going to go over here to the challenge tab on the website. You're going to scroll down and you're going to see Spartan Elite Challenge. And we're starting June 7th, ending on June 13th with one holiday. June 14th to 20th with one holiday. And again, these are Wednesday to Wednesday. So it's going to be a lot of fun from way day to way day, right? So I hope you join me. If you have any questions, please comment below wherever you're seeing this video and I will try to answer it. If I don't, please tag me. I'm going to have it in several different places. So um, love for you to join us in this awesome challenge. I love it. Um, Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you because it's so funny because every time we do it, we coin this challenge, something different. So the first time we did it was called the chip challenge because everybody enjoyed eating the quest and the crinkles or the tasty bites or whatever it was and having those chips. So if you're a chip person, this is probably a really good challenge for you. But another one that was so great was um, when you have this extra protein right here, you can have the Fair Life Core Power Elite High Protein Milkshake. Um, now, if that were me, I could only have one and one egg white, but you also can have the Fair Life Regular Core Power High Protein Milkshake that's 26 grams and you can get the chocolate. And so it's like you're drinking chocolate milk. So that was another, the second time I did it, uh, I think it was Joey and Alicia Edwards coined it the chocolate milk challenge. So it's a lot of fun. We get lots of choices. Um, I love a challenge where I can kind of make up my own thing and I can do the combinations. I can follow those coach mode meals. And when you get that extra protein in, it's so much fun to figure out like which one you're going to do and when you're going to eat it. There is a Facebook group. So when you join the challenge on the website, there will be a link to the Facebook group. There'll be a link to that document with the rules that I shared. And there'll be a link to the coach mode meals which again is part of your, one of your meal choices. So if you have any questions, if you need help figuring out your numbers, please, if you personally know me on Facebook, you can message me, but you also can drop a comment below and I'll be glad to get back to you. Okay. So I hope you join us. It's a free challenge. It's so much fun. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to make it the chip challenge this time or the chocolate milk challenge. Well, anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you join. I hope you join us. <laughs> Bye, y'all.